A must-have skill for Generation X's. Toe touching. Yes, I'm a Generation Xer. And why is it so important to be able to touch your toes? With straight legs, of course. Can you do it? Try it. We Generation X's are not getting any younger. So that is why you need this skill. Because as you get older, uh, you fall really easy. And this will help you to prevent falling. And how does that work? Well, your posture deteriorates extremely as you get older. And being able to touch your toes with straight legs will improve your posture, it will improve your gait, and it will improve your balance. These are not the only benefits. It will also help you with lower back pain. It will also help you to sit on the floor easier. And if you have younger children like I do, then you can easily play with them on the floor. And also it will make easier to put your shoes on. So what you can do is you can do forward folds. The easier one is standing up if you cannot sit on the floor. Let me show you. So come standing. Bring your ankles under your hips. It's very simple. Inhale, stretch your arms up as high as you can. Keep that stretch and then pivot at your hips and keep going and going. And when you can't go anymore, bring your arms down wherever you can. So if you even up here and you come down and you can't go anymore, just bring your arms down. And you'll feel the stretch in the back of your legs and you hold it here. Relax the arms, relax the head. You could even fold the arms if you want to and you hold it. Now you want to hold it for 30 seconds. So the longer you hold it, the faster you will improve. But don't force it. It's just a soft, gentle stretch in the back of the legs. You don't want to have extreme pain, so never force it. When you, once you're done, inhale and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time while we come up slowly with the head last is because all the blood will rush to your head and you don't want to be dizzy okay if you can sit on the floor just come down i'm going to show you the back stretch pose what i like about the back stretch pose is you don't have to engage the legs to stay up like the previous uh, pose uh, forward fold this one, you can relax all the muscles in the legs. Make sure your toes pointing to the ceiling. If your knees are popping up because the hamstrings are tight, you have two choices. You can all lean back, straighten the legs and press into the hands until you feel the stretch and you can stay here. Again, you will feel at the back of the legs. Now, or you can let the knees pop up and inhale, stretch your arms up and exhale, come as far forward as you can and just rest here, okay? But if your legs can straighten, same thing, inhale and exhale forward. Doesn't matter where your hands end up and you stay here. The same principle, not for shorter than 30 seconds, but if you want uh, to reach the toes quicker, hold it for one minute or even up to five minutes, okay? And when you're done, inhale and slowly roll up. So the longer you hold the pose, the slower you want to come out of the pose. Now, if you feel adventurous, you can add another stretch. It's called downward dog. So downward dog is great because it stretched the whole of the back of the body. Um, and it stretched about 15 muscles all the way from your feet to the, to the skull. All you have to do is lean to the side, tuck your legs in, come onto your knees and come into a box shape. So your knees are under the hips, the wrists are under the shoulders. And all we're going to do is we're going to tuck the toes, press into the hands and toes, lift the knees and then bring your head and chest through the arms and press your heels down to the floor. And this is down dog. And the same thing is you can hold it for 30 seconds or longer. Once you're done, exhale and slowly bring your knees down to the floor and relax. And obviously do it, try and do it three times a week and this will improve your posture 
it will relieve lower back pain and it will make sitting on the floor so much easier and putting on your shoes. Tip of the day. Now, you will notice it's not just the hamstrings that's involved at uh, reaching your toes. A lot of it is in the back. So if you have a tight back, then it's going to influence your capabilities of reaching the toes. So if you want to add some extra stretch into the back, what you can do is, for example, into the forward fold. So that's the one where we stand. Bring your feet ankles under the hips. You can add arms, so you restrict the back. So all you do is you interlock the fingers at the back, roll your shoulders back, chest is out, straighten your arms, and then you do a forward fold, inhale and exhale, come forward and you bring the arms over the head or as far as you can and you bring the head as low as you can. So you'll feel you cannot go as low as you could before, but it will stretch the back. And then when you're done, inhale and slowly come up and release. The nice thing that I like about the back stretch pose is the one where we sit with the straight legs. If you hold this pose long enough, you'll start feeling it stretches the back. Okay, so tight back, tight hamstrings, those are the things that you want to look at being able to reach your toes. And don't worry if you can't go past the toes as long as you can reach the toes. Okay, so I hope this is going to help my fellow uh, Generation Xs, uh, let me know how you're doing in the comment section below and thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Ariyom Tatsat.